All right, so we're here with Maddie from Slick As, and she's going to put on a wrap today. Yep. So give us a run through. Okay, so we're going to do the bush wraps kit, which yep. is typically a DIY kit on your vehicle, but of course we're going to do the install, seeing as you are in Queensland right now. Um, so bush wraps is the DIY kits that we sell, so you can purchase them online. Yep. Um, they come with really thorough video instructions, everything like that. Yep. But if you are more confident doing um, taking it somewhere, we do have a, a network of installers across Australia that can actually install these kits for an added charge. So Bush Wraps is awesome. It's a one year film. Yep. It's not, we do do a 10 year film here at Slick As as well, but that needs to be professionally installed. Yep. So a lot of people like the DIY kits because you know, they might be going to Cape or something doing a trip. Yep. They want to chuck these kits on themselves. It's a nice cheap price point and then rip it off when they get home or just leave it on for two years yep. and then pull it off. So, so I thought it would be awesome to get you on the tools with me and show everyone how easy it is to install a bush wraps kit. Done, let's do it. All right. So first of all, we will go ahead and prepare the car. So that means thoroughly washing it. And I highly recommend that you buy a clay mitt or a clay bar. Now what that does, even on a brand new vehicle, there will be contaminants on the top of the paint. So that's what makes it really sort of rough when you rub your hands over it. So we're gonna clean down the vehicle and then we're gonna clay it and then the paint will be perfect. Right. Let's do it. So it's really important when you're prepping the vehicle that you thoroughly gurney in like the door sills, the badges, um, door handles, things like that. That's just because that's where dust it, um, collects and obviously stays in there trapped. So really thoroughly cleaning your badges, especially if you've had the vehicle on the road for a few months or longer, that is super important. Um, so this here is a wash mitt, but also a clay mitt. So this um, yellow side is the wash mitt. Um, and then this side here is the clay. So this is what the clay like grabs the contaminants and removes it from the paint, but it doesn't damage or um, scratch your paintwork. So after I've washed it, that's when I go through with my clay. Um, and yeah, you can buy clay in a, like a lot of different forms. And just from super cheap Autobahn, there's always a few options there. So just go ask the guys at one of those shops. And so once you've done that, you can really tell when you feel the paint with your hand, um, you'll feel like a section that's still rough and then where you've clayed will be nice and smooth. That is what we are looking for. If you do leave any contaminants on the paint and you miss the step, you have a much higher chance of having like little bits of dust and dirt throughout your install, which will look pretty crappy. I was planning to put you guys in the booth, but uh, as you can see, your car did not fit. So we will be doing this demo outside, um, but that is okay. Our first steps to get ready to install the kit is we remove the mirrors on the 79, yep. just because it's such an easy thing to do and it's gonna make, um, it makes the templates look a lot better with, with less lines. So we're gonna go ahead and remove those and then uh, I'll give you some instructions on how to install the first pieces. Beautiful, give me a go at it. All right, let's grab that drill. All right, so for people at home, this is really a two-person job. Just because you need help pulling the backing sheet away and spraying the film at the same time, if you try and install the film or you try and pick up the film and do it by yourself, when the PPF is dry, it is super sticky. So the film has a chance of just bunching on itself and pretty much wrecking the piece of film. So don't be... Don't be trying to take shortcuts here, guys. Like, you really do. Just make it easy on yourself. Get your missus to help you. So, um, this is the passenger side front door. Now, the 79, because of this really sharp body line, it's really challenging even for us to do installs. So, we're not going to stitch you up. We have split the template into two pieces so that it's nice and easy to do at home. But pretty much, um, you'll see here, this is the film. The shiny bit is your film. This is your top side and under here, that's what I'm talking about is really sticky. So the, you've got to make sure you spray that before you touch that with your fingers because otherwise you will get fingerprints in the film. So I'll just get you to hold this, wet your hands. All right, hold the top of that piece just on those corners. Yep, maybe both hands. Like yep, so if you're doing this at home with someone, you need to pull the backing sheet down and if you pull the film up, that's going to be the easiest way to remove the film off the backing. 
So now I'm going to spray my panel. I recommend that you wipe each section just before you go to install. So you wipe that down so there's no chance for any dust to settle. And if you see any fibers, you sort of flush it off. Now this should just line up nice and easy, this top strip. So make sure it's wet enough. And then, yep, that's the back side. Okay, cool. So if you line up, you can see that there goes around the little keyhole. And keep it tight on top, mate. Yeah. Like that. Yep. yep. And you can see pretty much as soon as you line that up, that all sits straight down. So then we're going to spray the top here. Now you can see when you first lay this, uh, this looks like a little bit short, but it's not. That's the way the template is designed to go because I'm going to start at the back near the keyhole and then we're going to stretch this film into position. So don't forget that the film is super flexible and that's what it's meant to do. We've designed it so you do need to stretch it. So we're going to stretch that forward. Then all of a sudden your corners line up, the badge lines up, the holes line up and then that's when you can go ahead and simply squeegee it down. So if you get little pieces like this pop up, all that means is that water is trying to suction back in. So you can follow that with your little cloth and then it will sit. So if you want to go ahead and squeegee here, just check your alignment there. That's the right spot. And now you can squeegee down. So it's really important when you're installing your kit that you overlap each squeegeeing motion. Um, the biggest mistake that people are going to make is they're going to think they've squeegeed out all the water and then the next day they're going to see little bits of water remaining in the panel, which takes ages to dry out. So it's important that you overlap each squeegeeing motion and check each section that you work on so that you don't have um, you know, heaps of air and water later that you'd have to prick out. How'd you go? Beautiful. Not so bad? Not so bad for let's, a rookie. Let's see your handiwork. All right. There you go. So that's that top piece there. So of course you can see edges here around the badges. Um, being a white car, it's more noticeable that it, like the shadow line of the edge of the film. But if this is like, you know, the graphite gray or, or like the sort of darker metallic colors, you don't even see the edges of the film. Yep. Unfortunately, we just, if we have all these skinny little pieces, it just makes it so hard for someone to install. Yeah, so sure. we just try and make it nice and quick. All right, now we will do the bottom part of the door. So I'm gonna show you how to install this door and then I'm gonna get you to do the next one. Oh. But remember, if you bought a kit back at home, all of this is in your video instructions. Yep. But today I'm your live demo. So we're gonna wet your hands, make sure there's no fingerprints. Now, the backing sheet needs to face me. So that's the more, the gloss side's facing you and the matte side's facing me. You're gonna grab that with your wet fingertips, pull it up instead of down. Yep. That's gonna create tension on the film so it makes it easy for me to peel the backing. I'm gonna spray that. Yep, grab that edge there. Perfect, and if you hold that up, oops, sorry. All right. <laughs> Just hold tension on that. So spray that. Just be careful of the little cutouts so you don't tear the film. Lay that down. So the biggest mistake that I see is people just don't wet the panel enough. So it is super important that you really soak it with the soapy water and be sure that you follow the slip dilutions that are included in your bush wraps kit so that you know exactly um, how to make that slip solution. All right, now, try not wreck your camera. I'll grab this and I'll grab this. So you can easily see where this needs to line up. There's a fiber. All right, so I'm gonna look to make sure the alignment's good around the door handle. So I can slide that in position, that's what the slip does, it allows you some time to work with it. And then this part here is going to line up further down the door. So my first step is to line up, check the alignment point around the handle as well as this back edge. It should finish like one or two mil from the back edge. And once I'm happy with the alignment, I'm then going to go ahead and squeegee this down. Being really thorough and overlapping that. 
you want to just push the water out to like the nearest escape route really. Um, now the same here, I'm going to be looking ahead and making sure that all looks fine. If it gets too dry, see how this isn't moving? It's because it's Queensland and it's summer. <laughs> so you need to be sure you like, if it's not wet enough, you can lift it up, respray it and put it back down. Now I push that water out of that body line and you can see I'm stretching forward a little bit. That brings this edge closer into alignment up here and it also brings these um, bolt hole cutouts uh, into alignment. Perfect. Press that up. Now I'm pressing quite hard. I sort of squeegee down lightly at the start and then I go ahead and squeegee down harder. Just that way I know that first with the light squeegee it's in the right position. And then when I'm squeegeeing harder, that means I'm trying to get rid of all of that water that's in the panel so that it doesn't get left behind. So then I can squeegee down. Now the 79s, the more challenging thing apart about them is these ridge lines. If you don't press these down with your finger first, you can easily leave air and water in there. So I just be really thorough with this and make sure you go over it on different angles. You will also feel the water and stuff with your finger. So I use touch a fair bit when I'm installing just to make sure that's all out. That's good. Now this is a bit dry again. So I lift it, place it back down and away I go. So I had a customer send us um, some information. He installed his 79 the other week and it said it took him and his wife about an hour and a half to install which I think is really impressive just watching our videos. So that's what it should sort of take. Wipe that down. And there you go. It is installed. Thought you were coming here for me to do Wipe. it and I'm just making you install your own film. <laughs> section here you can see that it's a bit dry yep. so that's where you can make sure you have a wet finger peel that up and then spray it at the same time oh, if I get your water back go back further yep all the way back to you can see that's where you sort of squeegee so you can go back to this point spray it Spray the back of the film as well. Nice, and then you can lay that down. That should help like sort of, you can then move the film into position. Yep. And once you're happy with the alignment, then you can <laughs> screw the water out. Beautiful. remembering. I'm doing alright for rookie, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and you can wipe that top section before you pr proceed further down. Yeah, yeah. Just to check, because I can sort of see um, some water still in the panel. Oh, yeah. So you can see there, there. So if you just go over it harder and squeegee downwards, yep. um, that will get rid of the water. So I would so start from up. about here. And so you can sort of see there's some in those ridge lines. Yep. So just by flicking it a little bit faster, you can see the water gets pushed down there. Yep. Does that make sense? And it will just keep working down.
All right, look at that beautiful gloss finish. Now, what do you reckon? Was that harder or easier than you thought? No, that was easier. Once you get, you know, in the yeah. rhythm of things, like once I've done that one panel, I'll be fine with the next. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's why you get your test panel to warm up. And then I always recommend that you start on a door first. Yeah, yeah. Because generally they're the flattest panel. Um, so like if you had a big tub side, that's a lot of material to handle. If you know, if say you have Hilux or something like that. So yep. don't go start on like the harder panel. Start on a door, get a bit of a feel for it, do the four doors, and then by the time you get to the fenders or the tub, yep. um, it will be a breeze. Beautiful. Cool. We would like to thank Maddie and her team at Slick As for the amazing job they done. As you can see through the video from my experience installing the Bushwraps DIY protective film, it is super easy to install and absolutely anyone can do this job. With a second pair of hands, whether it be your missus or a good mate. So jump onto the Bushwraps website and check out your Bushwraps kit for your vehicle. Cheers guys, thanks for watching, hit the subscribe button and drop a comment below.